Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Billish 55 video with DPSRP. Um, I would get off with the introductions guys, but we've got Pursuit already going on, so uh, we're just going to get straight on into it guys, I'm afraid. And he's bound towards the freeway. Alright. Looks like they already got the suspect down, that's not a bad job. And of course, Sam's in the Audi. Of course, you'd call 1015 as I get up on scene. Well, you know how it goes. You all good? Through through, I think. Can you check for me? Fucking hell. Charlie 1B advice 479 has been hit also. Okay, happy days. It is a three and three, thankfully, mate. Thankful for that. Yeah, right. Hang on. Um, if you follow my siren to my challenger, the car's still in securing. Oh, okay. Uh, I can't TQ his shoulder. Tell me, we're going. Yeah, it's his shoulder. We're going to have to uh, pack him. Hey, up, Briggs. The um, subject is up there by right. Sam, but Hudson is okay, here. See the subject. Hudson was hit too? Yeah, Hudson's hit too. He's got a throw and through to his right shoulder. Okay. I'll be good for now. Alright. still standing when right, right. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, Frost, if you can look after Hudson, please. I'm going to wreck my rifle. You said your vehicle still needs securing, Hudson? Uh, the suspect vehicle needs securing. If you follow the sirens down the ravine, you'll find it. Okay. I see it. I see his view. I see Hudson's car from here if you look over the top of the medic. Yeah. In the field. Oh It'll yeah, I see it. Over there. I yep. see it. You good, Hudson? What the hell? Oh. Boo, go help the director, please. Yeah, hop in. I'll give you a ride. A ride along. He's in the car. Michael, he's in the car. <laughs> hop in, Mike. Oh dear. No, you're alright, mate. Alright. Well, you're new. I ain't met you before. I'm new. I've only just done my training like tonight. Ah, oh, fair enough. You are fresh out the gates then. Alright. Alright, come on. Let's have a look at this car. You done vehicle searches before? Okay, so you, you know roughly what you're looking for, yeah? Yeah. Alright. Oh, well, is Tommy coming down as well? I don't know. Alright guys, so yeah, 
So apologies, I am somewhat late, but again, doesn't matter because this is on a recording rather than a stream. But uh, yeah, joint patrol and just instantly heard Honda Civic making off. So yeah, there we go. Um, just checking the vehicle over. We did miss the pursuit, unfortunately, but it's uh, it's all good. Alright, just check it over. Yeah. In fact, you know what, guys, seeing as, uh, seeing as I haven't done it in a while, uh, we're going to go webcam. Hopefully. Maybe. Yes, there we go. Go ahead, Hudson. Not sure if you know me, but my, uh, sirens are still going. If you can kill them for the police. Damn What'd you find, Michaels? Uh, Rick, uh, Rick That's yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah. Alright, mate. I'll tell you what. Uh, yeah. Give me the paperwork real quick. I'll check it over. Yeah. Thank you. Interesting. to approve certain things on the fly guys because we just recently did a CAD upgrade um, or not upgrade but we basically revamped our CAD um, as you can see now our documents are all different everything like that so we've gotten everything uh, is all pending including character stuff you alright though? Yeah, I was just telling you that the, uh, the, uh, the what, sorry? The trunk, the oh yeah, what's up with that? Yeah. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. Didn't realise we had that script in. First of the last month. Interesting. This one's ready to be in route priority. Code three, signatures of medical. Alright, DPS one on one. Oh, shield. Oh, hang on, is this an old... Oh, this is an old one, right. In which case, we can remove that. And if this is an old one as well, then we can remove that. Um... 
Yeah, this one's an old one as well, actually, so we're removing that as well. What do you Um, just paperwork for the vehicle at the minute. Uh, I'm just checking as well. I believe the driver's going to be a Rick Sarah Hill. Uh, might want to check his driving license. Yeah, might want to check his driving license just to be sure, mate. Gave the name of uh, David Jones, but he gave two different date of births so each time I asked, so I'm not, I only know what the fake name. Right, okay. Right. Um, here, can you give me the plate when you can, please, Hudson? And I'll check it. You ready? Yeah, go on. Actually, never mind. I'll have to get it from my car. Why was the plate been taken off? Oh, for fuck's sake, the plate's been taken off. Fucking. I hate it when they do that. Yeah? Yeah, we, we look there. Okay. Good stuff. Yeah. Ready? Uh, stand by. Uh, in fact, hang on, give me one sec, Hudson. Yeah, no, we plate's been removed. Have you locked the plate as such, or...? Mm -hmm. Oh, perfect. All right. Go on a sec. Yep, go on, Hudson. Delta. Yep. Three. Yep. Victor. Yep. One. Yep. Lima. Yep. Six, six, six. Of course. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely registered to him. Perfect. Yeah, it's coming back to him, so... We'll just have to, uh, yeah. We'll just seize this vehicle and then go from there. Uh, I take it Frost and Tommy are doing the shots fired side of things. Uh, Frost is handling myself and Sam deployed. Perfect, thank you. Spot on. Right, I will do the vehicle recovery form for this vehicle, but other than that, nothing more I can do here at the minute, mate. Oh, do you still need help? I'm going to get boot back to the sergeant. Oh, uh, yeah. No, uh, Michaels can go back to the sergeant. No worries. All right. find sergeant. Should be behind us on my body, the cruisers. I'm... Michaels, I'm dealing with this vehicle, mate, so you're going to have to huff it. Back to your sergeant, mate. Oh, yeah, Paul, good. Sorry about that. So good. Incoming 
need to get my NPR and... Incoming 911. Oh my god. <laughs> Charlie will not take that 311 once I'm done with the vehicle, re uh, vehicle recovery tow form here. Uh, vehicle recovery... Union Road. Report date. Report time is 22.52. Only 53, but eh. Uh, postal of 2000. And not MPATF. Oops. Last course on Charlie 1. So it's Devil 666. <clears throat> uh, okay. Sarah Hill. Take Alright, sir. So. Hey, up, Sam. How are we doing? We're doing good. I'm, I'm about to fill in a long-ass incident report. Ah, fantastic. Do you, do you know what this came from? No, go on. We got a 911 call about a hit and run. So I've got to yeah. go do the paperwork for the hit and run. And then as we're about to clear the hit and run, this dickhead drives past and the, and the victim from the hit and run goes, it's that one. So we sent Hudson to go stop him. <laughs> yeah. Right as, I, right as I pull up to go and help Hudson with the traffic stop, he has to speak to me. And as we're stood in a circle and he's telling us what he's got from the dude, uh huh. The, I, we've Tommy and I've both just gone. He's running. Hudson's gone. What got in his truck? <laughs> hit his radio. Hit nearly every other button in his car, <laughs> other than his radio. In fact, do so. So we've got down to about 68 and Joshua having gone from like where we were, which was I think Seaview and Joshua. Yep. End up to about 68 and Joshua. Put the thing in the AMPR system. Literally two seconds later, it's pinged Grapeseed Avenue and fucking, um, what's it? Um, see, because he's he must have done a loop in Sandy or some shit. Amazing. And then basically, I've gone. Hey, the next logical ping is here. Hudson's called out. Got him. He's heading towards the highway on Union as I'm sat pretty much up next to that barn. He's come around the corner, seen the back end of my car, we assume, and basically just driven straight off of there. Oh, God. Okay. He's then got out and run as I'm coming around here. Uh -huh. I've got out my car at the base of the hill whilst Hudson's running his ass up after him. Mm -hmm. All I see is the dude swing round and a shot go, and I've just magged him the fuck out of him. Good effort. And technically, it's all linked to my initial hit and run, so I've got to do a fuck ton of paperwork. Nice job, nice job. I've I've delegated the 1080s to Hudson because he initiated it. To the yeah, right no, that's All fair right, enough. And then I've got BCSO doing the shooting no, no, report, but it's still going to be a lot. Now. So I'll let you know when that's done. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> mate. Yep, in no worries. Alright, I'll see you in a bit. Alright, mate. Details, it only states that they were on east, east. Toward Joshua. It doesn't say specifically where.
Alright. Intro 2, I'm going to be clearing the call. Give me 10 to 6 paperwork. New dispatch, 1067. Propio Promenade, 1068. Tell the one I'm going to be clearing from this call on route to the 311 up at Plato. Four dollars. <laughs> Four dollars in cash. There it is. So, just on our way to the 3 and 1 now, 2.8 miles, there it is. Be in a gas station now. I keep, I keep looking over out of habit guys to check what the stream chat's doing and obviously I know I'm not streaming at the minute so yeah I, that's the habit I'm gonna I'm not sure I'll get out of it because I would like to, to still stream obviously but uh yeah no uh definitely something that needs to be done about that <laughs> uh I'm guessing the fuel filler cap's gonna be on this side to be fair That's what the issue was. The headset was sort of folded over itself. Well, the headset strap was folded over itself a little bit when it was sat on my head. I'll be honest, this headset strap is so comfy on my head. It's, yeah, it really is. Comfy. It's just right. Getting ourselves into here. Oh, that's why it's saying us so far. So far away. this suspected druggy character. Yeah, he was turning right there anyways. Right, we're going to turn right here and then take a quick shortcut because, yeah. Right down there. Four one all units, be on the lookout for a whiskey foxtrot, brown hair, black mask, black top, black shorts, black shoes, and a green duffel bag of bassine heading south southeast towards the substation on Joshua Road. Confirmed as a one Rick Hill. 
Ten four, perfect. Thanks, Chef. Shall the one I'm going to be twenty three on scene of that three one one at one zero six seven. We have our subject back at the 24 7. Hello. Hi. Hi, mate. San Andreas Department of Public Safety. Um, we're just getting calls about a suspicious person on the pier. Um, can I just ask how long you've been here, please? Uh, about a while. Since the fucking okay. Um, what's the nature of your visit, please, mate? Waiting for some friends. Okay. Uh, have you got a name that I can uh, check, please? Yeah. Can you cool. email me what the okay. name that he provided to you was on your traffic? Okay, no worries. Cheers, Steve. <sighs> Warning, OSB, violent, drugs, evade. Yikes. Alright, Steve, real quick. Uh, just turn around face the uh, fence for me real quick, please. Hi. Okay, um, I'm just noting on your, uh, on your record that you are violent, so I'm going to handcuff you for... You're in my protection, okay? Okay. okay. Alright, feel free to turn around. Okay, how come you're out here today, Steve? Well, I guess I'm just meeting up with a couple friends. Can you go down and... Okay, I'm noting down here that you do have a fair amount of uh, drug activity on your background. Is that still... Are you still active with that, or...? Trying not to be. Okay, just give me two seconds and I'll check the date of these. Okay, Steve, I'm going to conduct a quick Terry first call and you check for any items, okay? Is there anything on me at the moment that you think I should be made aware of? Any drugs, guns, weapons of mass destruction, anything like that, okay? No. You sure? Yeah. Okay, no worries. Alright. <laughs>
Uh, what are you doing so far out into the state then? You staying at a motel in Davis? Yeah. Okay. And how come you got so much money on you? If I need to buy something. Okay, what's wrong with the credit card or debit card? I don't have one. Oh, you don't have one. Um, it is now two dollars. How come you don't have a debit card, Steve? Much money. Yeah, do you have a bank account at all or anything like that? Yeah. Well, how'd you get money out if you don't have a card on you? I go to the teller. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Alright, right, um, can't see any reason why, uh, I haven't found anything on you suspicious at all. Just real quick, is that your bike up on the, um, at the staircase? Yes. Okay, so how come you've come so far out from, uh, Davis, is it? All the way up here, then. I want an adventure. Fair enough, nothing wrong with that. What time are you getting back uh, to your motel, then? Whenever I meet up with my friends. Okay, and what's night? What, what are you going to be doing when you're with your friends? Pedaling back to mo motel. <laughs> okay. Alright, Steve, turn around for me. I'm going to uncuff you, mate. At this time, there's been... No I can't find any, any uh, sort of crime in progress so appreciate your compliance and uh working with me here and uh yeah you'll be a free man all right you enjoy your night please stay safe and uh yeah take care yeah you too all right Charlie one i'm gonna be code four off this uh call i'll be back tonight momentarily <laughs> huh. yep nothing there Nothing really to work with. Uh, did a quick search on him, put him in cost for obviously because of the uh, previous uh, rec previous on his records, and yeah, guy came back all clear. So Two seconds here, please, guys, because I'm just going quick. Something. A quick announcement out. What's the postal of this location, please?
Tell them when I'll be on right. Tell one, can I just confirm this individual at the 24-7 is contained on the roof, or is she actually making off? Recontained on the roof. Stand by, we're trying to figure out a solution here. It's a busy night all of a sudden. Okay, that took that way too wide. I'm gonna bust my balls to get there if she's contained at the minute. Have a good night. Have a good night. Charlie one twenty three at the twenty four seven three zero zero eight. Four hundred and sixteen. SSGT T Thomas disconnected from your channel. Name check from one of the units down there that aren't doing anything down at Mary Kensworth, please. Charlie one standby. Warning, mental health, drugs, <coughs> weapons, violence. Tell them on 481. Trespass. Send it. She's immediately got multiple markers. Mental health, drugs, weapons, violent, parole, theft, and also trespass markers. She does have a weapons registration as well. Uh, previously, uh, previous arrest for assault with a deadly weapon and attempted murder of a government employee. I believe this is the individual that actually attempted to shoot me on the side of uh, Great Ocean Highway. 10-4. Yeah, this is.
Body, huh? Send it. She stated she has change and appeared to not realize that you could convert change into actual dollars. So if you would like, I can bring her down and sort this out down there. on that. Hiya, right, Watson. <laughs> yeah, this is the individual that tried to shoot me on the side of GOH one time. What's the what's the assessment with your shoulder, anyways, mate? Yeah, it's good, through and through. Didn't hit anything yeah. major. Just bandaged up. That's good then. All right. I'll, I, I see you've been busy. What do you mean? What's this? One oh one now? No, this is forty six. Oh. Yeah, it's not on the list yet, but it will be soon. Yeah, 46, 47, and 48, I believe, are going to be uh, the more undercover cars. Still spotted speed cop car a mile away. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, mix, mixes in with the uh, general locality a bit better. It does, I suppose. Mm. Right, what's the actual crack here then? Why are, we, why are we all surrounding the 24 7 like there's some sort of siege going on? He's still alcohol, I believe. Yeah, okay. Okay, where's the gun? Where's the gun? I found it, and I just put it in a safe spot because I didn't know what to do with it. Is it on you? No. Are you lying? No. Okay. You do realize we're going to end up having to pat you down a vent nope. anyway, right? And that's a one way in, one way out. Mary, can we just talk about this, please? Yeah, we can now. Sam, can you keep trying to get her out of there, please? I'm going to go around the back. Yeah, okay. Mary, can you Stay come here out you here me. slowly so we can talk I don't properly? Like being come in, sorry, come in, sorry. Why I don't like being touched. It, it's not a gun. Nope, nope, it's not a gun. Nope, 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 nope. Alright, nope. Mary, are you the same person? No, no, are you the same person that. No, are you the same person no, that I. Listen, are you the same person. No, no. Mary, listen to me. Are you the same person that attempted to shoot me on the side of GOH? Wait, why would someone shoot you on the side of. Wait, what's a GOH? Great Ocean Highway. Route one. No. Are you sure? Yeah. Because there was re there were records. Uh, there's records coming back on your background stating that you tried to shoot me of all people. No. Okay. Well, either way. <laughs> either way, just keep talking to my colleague here, and we'll get this. No, we'll get this resolved. All right. All right, Mary, can you come in and just no. talk to me? No, no, there's guns. No. Okay, no, 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 the guns are gone, yeah? There's there's no actual guns, yeah? No, they put them away. Like it. They're mean. 
I know, that's why I'm just asking you to come out and speak to me, okay? No, 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 no. Okay. Well, then you don't have to you don't have to speak to him right now. You can come out and speak to just me, yeah? Okay, I'll talk to you from here. Okay. Oh, can I didn't do anything. Okay. Let, then let's talk to you about it and we'll figure it out, yeah? Do you want to okay, what's, what's the crack for us? Uh, yes, but I need you to come out here. Nothing, I've just wedged the two back doors from the outside. Yeah, good effort. Alright. Well, we can't, we can't tell you what, like, we can't discuss what's going on unless you come out here, can we? No, but you guys are mean. Not, we're, we're not, not mean. You. You're nice, you're nice. We're not mean, don't worry, mate. Come on. One guy had a gun, I don't like it. Yeah, and now he's, now he's put it away. But he still has it! I don't have a gun! Well, wait, wait a minute, let me think about it, let me think about it. Um, did that, did that, did that, did that there. Went good. Put that up, put that, but yeah, no, I don't have it. Okay. Well then, can you just come out and talk to us about it, yeah? Depends. How many people are here? Um, Including or without including you? Uh, without. Five. Frost. Okay, cool. You, you guys can talk to each other. Fuck out the bad okay. Let's get out of this building right now. But we don't want to talk to each other. As you, that, they're mean. Why would I want to talk to them? I'll talk to you. Oh, okay. What do you want to talk about? Uh, well, you Three, said you one, found five, a really cool gun. Why don't you, why don't you tell me where that is? I don't remember. Well, I remember, but I don't remember because it's it's in a weird location, but it's not a weird location. I know Please, where the location is, but I can't describe where, where it is in that location. Uh, why don't you come out and we'll go for a walk and we'll go find it? Because um... I feel like I'm going to get shot when I go out. You're not going to get shot when you come out. No one's going to shoot you, Mary. Is there any bald guys out there? Uh, not that I can oh, see. Okay. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. No, the bald guy isn't here today. Hang on, Mary. Mary. Come on, let's go. She's 1070. Uh, it's over here. I well, think. I did ask him to show us where the gun was. Nope, wrong way, wrong way. It's over here, it's over here, it's over here. In her. Okay, stand by. She might be showing us where the gun is, but uh, yeah, she is running, so just. Keep keep a vehicle close, guys. Four one three eight one. Grab the car and go. Right, just in one in the back. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you keep just just take a step away from. Him, okay. Mm -hmm. Why is just... he? No, he has a gun. He has a gun. He has a gun. No, no, no it's, it's not a gun. It's a paintball one. Fucking hell. <laughs> I'll secure the bags. Here, Hudson, do me a favor, just secure these bags for a firearm, please. She got spooked as soon as uh, you had the gun. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, well, I went to my goddamn building. Shit, right? I'll deal with it. Also, I get me BCFO CFI 23004, East Russia Road, uh, some bag. The back room of the 24 7 does not have any firearms in it, so be advised. Just proceed with caution. Sam, what's your 20? We're going to be inside the Sandy SO, we're going to be stopped at this time. Hey, from you good if I use it? Where's she going? Uh, For Carl, fuck's sake! And she's not running. Mary, can you step off my car, please? I like it. It's a nice car. Um, I get that, I but you is, might cause nice the. Car, I like yeah, it. I get that, but you might fall off and hurt yourself or cause damage to the car, and I don't want either of those things to happen, please. Okay, I'll step right on the edge so that it doesn't cause damage. No, yeah, but you might fall over and hurt yourself as well. I need you to step off the car, please. What the, uh, no, Mary, you can't just step onto someone else's car. You gotta step off it, mate. Truck. 
Well, step off the vehicle. Step off, step off my boss's truck. He doesn't like anyone on his truck. Yeah, come on, Mary. Alright. Alright. Yeah, stand up on the wall. You can stand on the wall if you want. Okay. Alright. Uh, Sam. Yeah, she was saying, mate. Alright. So, Mary, you said you found the gun, yeah? Where where did you find the gun? Did you find it in the same place you told us it was, or did you find it somewhere else? I found it somewhere else. Okay, where did you find it? Um, oh, you, okay, you see the abandoned place over there? The, the motel. Mm -hmm. Okay. I found it there. Okay. Tell her I'm received. Hudson's just it? found the uh, revolver in the bin bag, Sam. Perfect. Right, so, Mary, are you all squared away with the clerk now? Have you, you paid, have you, at the 24-7, did you pay him all the money? Um, yeah, yes. Okay. Sergeant, you got anything further? Oh, she's squared away with the 24-7 person. Wait, what car are you driving? Me? Yeah. I'm driving an Audi. Okay. Yeah, she is the person that tried to shoot me on the side of Route 1. No reason. Okay. Do you have anything further in regards to the firearm you need to ask for us? Uh, nothing from her other than the fact of where did she get it originally. Hmm? Mary, where did what? you find the firearm originally? It was in one of the rooms at the motel. Okay. It was next to a bunch of drugs. I didn't- I did not touch them, I did not touch the drugs, I did not do the drugs, I did not touch the drugs. Alright, Sam, she's in your custody now. Have fun. Okay. Right. Well, you got anything you- You need a- No. Where's the revolver? Okay, I've got- Nothing, really. Alright, well, what do you want to do about it at the minute? Have we got hey, any... With you. Have we got any okay. crimes that's happened or anything like that? Um, everything's been resolved. It was originally a call for incorrect payment at the 24-7 that's been sorted. Because she didn't realise you could pay with change to make a dollar. Okay. Well, yeah. In which case, then that's sort. That's if that's sorted, then yeah, there's nothing further for us here, by the sounds of it. Yep. Right. Mary, do you want to walk back down to twenty four seven? We will just double check you got it all right. Can I go with you? Yep. We can, we can walk down there. Excuse me. Is that the one I'm being code for tonight? Sam, if she's in your custody, mate, technically still, then you should be keeping up with her, mate. No, she's she's good now. She's just going to go check. She's cleared away with change from the, from the clerk. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> All right. I've got to walk down and get my car. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, mate. All right, stay safe, mate. Yeah, we're good. Oh, holy shit. You almost got run over. Okay. Okay, all right. <laughs> 
All right, so let's go have some fun. That was interesting. Three calls back to back to back all of a sudden. Evidence. There it is. God damn it.
Murder key. Oh yes, my girlfriend has had kittens from her cat, guys, and yeah, they're near enough the equivalent of uh, that murder kitty right there. Um, I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see it on the webcam, but uh, yeah, my hand has had a couple of marks. Yeah, it's not really showing up that well, but yeah, um, at one point my hand was absolutely covered in scratches um, from one of the kittens, which uh, Laura's dubbed as my my kitten, or I've dubbed it, I've, I've, I've claimed it basically. Um, my kitten is called Mowgli. Um, yeah, so Laura's cat Vinny we thought was a guy until he decided he was going to pop out four kittens underneath Laura's bed in the middle of the night. Um, and so now, uh, she, yeah, Vinny has popped out four kittens. She is doing really well, actually, as a mother, considering she, you know, at first was a very shy, timid cat, and now she's actually, like, quite relaxed, chilled out, and just generally more, um, present in the room now. Um, but, yeah, she's had four kittens, from oldest to youngest, we've got Chunk, Mowgli, Mowgli is mine, uh, Toothless, and uh, Mandrake. And the reason we named Mandrake Mandrake is because Mandrake just screams constantly. You pick him up, screams. Uh, put him down, screams. Stroke him, screams. Feed him, tries to scream. Just, yeah, constantly meowing. Um, Mowgli is probably the chillest of them uh, Toothless just likes to play a lot and then Chunk is Chunk for obvious reasons although Chunk is the oldest he's also the biggest um, he just eats and has become quite a Chunk basically um, but I've noticed as well Chunk is starting to become a little bit of a bully and Vinny's not always intervening when she should but it's like when they're playing uh, Chunk and like Chunk and Mowgli get on really well, to be fair, but I've noticed when Chunk is playing either with Toothless or Mandrake, I generally chill out if it's Mandrake because Mandrake's just yelping left, right, and centre. But if Chunk makes Mowgli and Toothless yelp, um, if he doesn't stop then and there, then I intervene because sometimes he has, like, uh, with Toothless, once he had Toothless pinned, Toothless yelped, and Chunk wouldn't let go of him. And then Toothless kept yelling and almost spazzed out and Chunk was basically fighting back, holding Toothless down. So I just basically, uh, I, I basically picked Toothless up and uh, then, yeah, just sort of stared him down a little bit, uh, to calm him down. Because otherwise I was probably going to, like, just pin him to the sofa and Chunk, like, Chunk doesn't like being pinned. I'm not talking, like, forcefully, but if you hold Chunk down to the point he can't wiggle out anywhere... Or can't do anything. Um, you just pin him down. He doesn't like being stuck in one place. So yeah, uh, Ch Chunk tends to panic uh, when he gets tied down as such. So yeah, that's that's generally his punishment. I'll just like pin him down and keep him still for a while so that he calms down. Well, well, doesn't calm down. He tends to panic, but yeah. He, he learns his lesson after that, put it that way. <laughs> um, Mowgli... Mowgli's the worst for it. Mowgli just likes adventuring, actually. He doesn't like being stayed, staying in one... He doesn't like being kept in one place, like... Um, whenever I'm holding Mowgli. 
he won't stay in your arms for more than a minute before he's like, oh, what's that? And goes off and does that or something like that. Like, he just want, he's just constantly exploring and stuff and playing and everything like that. But, yeah, Vinny's been awesome with him. And uh, to be fair, I've seen it when Mowgli's been a bit um, violent towards their siblings and Vinny's just pounced Mowgli before. Mowgli did not like that. I was just there laughing at him like, yeah, it's what you get if you're a dick to your siblings, Moogs. So, yeah. Mowgli is the only stripy cat out of his litter as well. Like, Chunk, Toothless, and Mandrake are all solid black cats. Um, as is Vinny. But we think the, ta the dad, whoever that was, may have been a tabby cat because Mowgli is basically tabby stripes. And at one point, um... We had a tabby cat, actually, like, I was, I was sitting on the couch with Laura, and um, I realised I'd left something upstairs, and I went to, go, went to go upstairs, and as I got up, Vinny, still being a little bit shy and timid, um, shot up and ran out the room, but went to run straight upstairs. This was when we were keeping the kittens upstairs, to be fair. So they'd already like we'd already had a fuss with them. Come down to watch a movie. As soon as I sh uh, I got up, Vinny shot out to go upstairs because she think I was going to fuss with the kittens. She doesn't mind us fussing with the kittens, but she just likes to be there, obviously. And as I saw Vinny go up the stairs, I was still like I was only half awake, and the staircase was quite dark. But I just heard this hiss. And then Vinny sort of dart around this figure, and I'm like, what the fuck? Turned the light on, there was this, and I'm not even kidding, there was this tabby cat just laying on the stair, on the on the step of these stairs, halfway up the staircase. He was massive, and I mean the biggest, like, think of a slightly, think of a slightly fitter version of Garfield, guys. Oh. New dispatch, 2060, GMSP passage, 2060. Charlie one's on right. Charlie. Charlie one's on right. But, uh, yeah. Let's have further until we get these individuals located, please. But so yeah, Tabby Cat swiftly made his exit after he got confronted by me. And uh, yeah, never to be seen again, to be honest. Shallow one, break, break. I've got a black motorcycle leaving the uh, scene at speed. Plate Romeo Sierra Charlie Golf 17. It's going to be a single occupancy rider. So I'm with the vehicle. Also, I've got the special equipment truck. I'll go secure the main lads if you guys want to handle the bag. Yeah, Charlie 1104, be advised there's a single occupancy rider. Not sure if there's going to be a second suspect still at Humane Labs. I'm going to hold the entrance just in case. 2 1, vehicle's going to be stopped on Ch Chanska Passage near Special 3052. Two zero four eight Joshua Road, medic two being around. Yeah, I'm with you. 
Sam, on this. What are we stopping her for? She's by she's bypassed the security gates on the exit. Um, and this was just after the high security alarms have started going off, mate. Do you want her off the bike? Yeah, we'll get her off the bike. Hang on. Right, mate, can you step off the bike, please? No, what the fuck did I do? Get off the bike now! What the fuck did I do? Get off the bike! I've what seen you do? bypass the exit gates. Get off the bike now. I'm not gonna ask I you again. To be in there. The guy let me in. Right, so why did you bypass the gates? On the exit? The dude let me in. Right. I was riding around for like 10 minutes and right. then the, some alarms went off, so I left. No, that's not how it goes. If the alarms go off, you don't just make yourself Wait, scarce. Dude, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Right. I don't know if there's something right. we'll step off. Happen. Okay, we'll step off the bike now. We'll ascertain that for now. Dude, I'm not having you on a high... The guy who stopped me. No, I'm not having you on a high-powered bike negotiating oh, about whether you're getting off the bike or not. Get off the bike now. Dude, back off. No. Get off the bike you, now. Why the guy who stopped me? Because you're being a jerk. Hey, no, no I've... Me, yeah, seriously, get off, the bike. get off the bike. Get off the bike. Let's a, a, right. talk to me. It's a lawful order to get off the bike. Get off the bike. Dude, can you please get your officer away from me? He's like making me really uncomfortable and feel unsafe. Right. What have I done to make you feel unsafe? I'm giving you a lawful <laughs> order. It's a simple lawful order. Get off the bike. Stop yelling at me. Well, get off the bike. No, get off the bike. I don't know if you're armed or not. You've bypassed the net. No, you've bypassed an exit. You've bypassed an exit gate on a high security facility. I don't care if you're a minor or whoever the fuck you are at the minute. I don't know if you're armed or not. Right. Right. Not talking to you. I'm gonna talk to the radio officer. Yes, yes. No. Yes, yes. Get the fuck away from my bike. Away from my bike right now. I have the key, dumbass. The fuck away, dude. Go over there now. I have the keys. Go over there. Get him away from me, mate. Go over there. Simple instruction. You want to deal with you want to deal with that officer, don't you? Go deal with that officer. Yeah, so get away from me. No. <laughs> you go over there. Why did you stop me? Because there's a, you've been detained. You've just Not I've just told to you. you. He stopped you because I've told him to. Okay, so let him me. Get away from <laughs> What? Yeah, go talk to him. You're making this worse on yourself. Go talk to him. I didn't do Ma anything. I had permission to be in there. I've already told you what you've been stopped for. Go over I there. I to be over there. I don't care. I sent you any searches. So if you you, do you are being detained. There. You do not have any reason to search my bike, which is also <laughs> locked, and I have the keys, so you can't even search in the first place. Well, that's fine. Get the fuck away right. from my bike. Right. And the reason we stopped you is you bypassed the security gate, our uh, security facility, whilst there's a security alert going on. Yeah. Uh, check the bike over there? for any sort of stuff. There's some alarm going after, after, like... 8 to 12 on scene yep. for me, lads. That's, that's completely understandable. There's alarms going off, you'll probably want to get out there. Do you have any anything on you that proves, or anyone you can contact that can... You can ask the security. To be there? You can ask the security that was at the gate. Okay. Danger 2 1, can I have a unit down the humane lamps? Corroborate a story for me, please, when you're available. Go ahead. Can you speak to one of the security no. officers of the gate, please? And confirm That's not the question. individual on the yeah. bike, bike we have up here was permitted, permitted access to the facility. 10 9. Can you check with the local gate officers, please, and double check whether the individual we have up here on the bike has clearance to access the facility, please? Uh, send for stand on that. We're gonna have, we're gonna have to uncheck your stories, man. Do you have a, just while we got you, do you have a license registration for the check? 179 to 121, be advised, I confirm the bike was on the premises. Denver, we're aware that the bike is on the premises, I'm asking whether they have permission to be on the premises. Sorry, say that again, ma'am. 
Yeah, my stuff is in my bike. Okay, are you able to get that for me, please? Yeah. 1812, Charlie 2 1, that's gonna be a negative on that. Must spasm, probably. <laughs> oh, God. Charlie 2-1, you copy? Negative, sorry, 10 last. Be advised, there's gonna be a negative on uh, access for the biker. Then if you're able, able to get, get just, just a written, written copy, copy of that from them and email it to me. Just for records. Ten four, I'm gonna see if I can get that from them now, standby. Yeah, you're able to grab me your information, please, man. I'm not allowed near my bike. Uh, yeah, let's just... Okay. Right, let's just go off the name first. What's your name, please? Ma'am, can you please provide your name? Oh, yeah, of course I'll provide it to you. Catherine Gervais. Do you want to know what actually happened? Yeah, now that we got if you got you off the bike, go ahead. Officer, do you want to know what happened? Uh, yeah, please. Also, is this your bike? It's her mother's. It's my bike that she got for me. Okay, is it registered to you or her? Her. Okay. Uh, what's her name, just so I can double check the Samantha. bike? Samantha. Okay. Do do feel free to run me through what's happening while I'm looking at stuff. I was driving around, I pulled up there, I saw, I could see that in the parking lot there was no cars. I talked to the local security. I said, hey, can I drive around in the front parking lot area for a bit? He said, yeah, but it'll cost you. So I gave him 20 bucks. And he says, if there's any alarms that go off, it's probably some testing stuff, just leave. So I did. Okay, so they've they've taken payment from Yeah, one of the I know a lot of places when you pay them for parking you give uh, tickets and stuff to put in your window. Did they give you anything like that? Obviously you don't have a window to put it in, but um. Two on to PD unit. Go ahead. Are you, Are you able, able to just check CCTV at the guard booth as well to corroborate the guard story, story, please? Stand by. Right. And do you know off the top of your head the uh, license plate or registration sticker number for that bike? Yeah. Yep, are you able to confirm it for me please? Just check out the right one. Okay, actually no. Okay. Uh, so are you able to check the bike for the sticker? I think it's like RS, CG17, something like that. Okay. I'll, I'll double check that on the bike in a second. Um, and as it's not your vehicle, do you have any sort of... Oh, Sorry, what bike. was that? I was in my head. Sorry, give me a second. Is he hot miking? 181221. I think so, mate. Go, Go for. for. He was, I was trying to hit my... I hit my radio, it wasn't going. Gotcha. I think I can talk of tank charge as well. Go ahead. You're calling me, sir. That shouldn't have been authorized uh, by G. I'm gonna be just a for emergency, but I'll have the report sent over to the second. That's all, please enjoy your day. Um, <clears throat> right, uh, 
uh, ma'am, just because it's not your registered vehicle, do you have LSPD disconnected you, like, from your channel? A note or anything to confirm that you're authorized to use the bike or anything like that. Ma'am. It's my bike. I don't need perm anyone's permission or a note saying I could ride it. It was literally got gotten for me. It's registered in your mother's name, though. So technically, yeah, the bike's her property. Yeah, she has all that stuff. She pays for all that stuff. Right, so the bike is hers for the time being, then. It's registered in her name. That makes it her property. 481 Tango Charlie 21, updated situation. Be advised, it appears that the local gate guard that was here could have possibly been bribed. We're going double checking now. I'll update on further soon. Give me. If that's the case, then. If that's the case, that security guard's getting fired. Jesus. Can you see if there's audio on that CCTV recording, please? Because her story is that she's paid for access to the car park only to allow them to... Hey, Sam does. Be advised, I will do indeed. Also, it's not 16. Sam, for apologies. Um... Right. So, you don't have any written consent, ma'am? Do you want me to fucking I... text her? Yeah, if you can. Uh, if you want to, yeah. that's fine. Do you, do you have a contact number that we can call her on at all? That'd be... Well, Not that I'm giving you. Okay. To be honest, I think we can just find her mom's details off of card anyway, so I'm sorry. There, see, I'm allowed. Give me one sec, I'll be right back, guys. Charlie 1 Bravo 144, we just got a trespass situation at the Humane Labs, but all of it is appearing in order at this time, but you can make your way towards at your own discretion. Staying tonight. Yes, yes, time for. She may, well, she's definitely getting charged with a but penal code. Search penal code in the penal codes, of course. Uh, trespass, yeah, it's good. 41, be advised, there's someone running out, out, away from Humane Labs up the road towards 101 and 121. Bravo 144, upgrading code 2. 
car P Bravo 144, when you do arrive on scene, can you immediately assist 479, please? Can I be assisting 479? Be advised, it was a believed male grey shirt, light coloured pants. Keep going around the corner, mate. Uh, Hudson's in the special operations truck, so you'll see him. Okay. I'm gonna call you for a second to discuss what the stories are. Also 941. Send it. You're all good. Just keeping an eye on that, mate. Last team running along the road out towards where you guys are positioned right now. Unknown after that. What's up? Died down. Yeah. Um, I've just turned it down, mate, so you're good. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm trying to hear myself think and everyone's talking Yeah, um, I got you. So, basically, <coughs> the Humane Labs guard's corroborating her story. She's paid him $20 to come in, car park access only, and he's told her that if any alarms go off, they're most likely to test them to leave. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not happy enough that that's bribery, because at the end of the day, she's paid for access to a private car park. Yeah, that still counts as trespassing, to be quite honest. One of the guards here is stating that they were making chicken noises at them and then started running away. I mean, if she's if she's got direct permission from the dude running the gate after paying for access to a private car park, admittedly you could throw up for charges of bribery and trespassing, but how likely is that to actually hold? Because she wouldn't... Oh my god, what's going on back there? They're looking for the other dude. Oh my god. Because initially, number one, security guard's not done his job by preventing access. So that's, that's one of the first ones. Second one is that unless she had actually paid paid him, um, she wouldn't have been given... Unless she had actually, unless she hadn't paid him, she wouldn't have been given access to that car park. No, it's not really a question of whether she should or shouldn't have. I cannot hear you at all over frost. Okay, here, turn your, turn your radio off for a sec, I'll let you know if anything goes down. Right, now I can hear myself think. Try that again. Yeah, right, so basically, number one is obviously that security guard's not done his job correctly he shouldn't have given her access in in any say at any point money or not I, I so yes agreed number two is that she's basically she shouldn't have been given access to this money or no money because she's not an employee here it's yet yeah, yes it's a private car park but even still the entire premises as a whole including the car park is a is a restricted facility so that is that definitely that that's yeah, that so is the main point that is counting towards the trespassing in agreement for that right as a, as a counter if she has gone to the dude guarding well, effectively a large car park with a secure building attached to it 
Mm -hmm. hey, can I use your car park? And he's gone, yes, it will be $20. That is, at the end of the day, not much different to turning up to a Tesco going, hey, can I go drive around your car park? And then going, yes, but you'll have to pay for one hour of parking. No, because the security guard has acted outside of his responsibilities. Because his responsibility is to check and secure that people who are entering the facility are employees or related to like some sort of responsibility or uh, yeah, commitment no. to the humane labs because she no, isn't completely, it completely bypasses agree. that 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 i completely agree uh -huh. that's him committing an offense by allowing her access when she's not allowed what i'm trying to get at is is it an offense for her to effectively pay to drive around the car park and him to let her like is it is it an offense for her yes to ask it's not an offense for her to ask but because he's right, so basically because he said yes, he is basically uh, so he is he is an accomplice to trespassing. He's also taken on a bribery, basically. Okay. What, what I think <sighs> figure out is has she offered him twenty dollars or has he requested twenty dollars? No, no, she's. Why, is that not different? Technically, I believe she's offered, but we'll need to clear that up. On top of which. I need I'm to... under the impression that he's asked. Hmm. Uh, well, either way, I need to clear up with Sancom who the original caller is as well, because if this wasn't from security, then who's it been by? Because technically, it would be the Humane Labs, obviously the CEO, or whoever the head of security is there, if, if unless this guy's head of security. Um, it would be their callers to basically what they want done as well, to be honest. So, also, if she's been permitted access to the car park by the security guard, how likely... I'm not I'm not saying it's not trespassing. I'm saying how likely is it that that will become fruitful? Like, if we, if we turn around and say that's trespassing, and they go, yeah, but she's been let in by the security guard, that's... Because if she had an off... Basically, because irrespective of whether she is offered $20 or the security guard has requested $20, irrespective of that factor, she has no business being on that facility as a restricted facility. That's it, where the trespass comes in. Restrictive facility. Yes. Okay. There is, there is a okay. sign on approach that basically says it's restricted area. I think it's one that we've got to sort of be a bit careful about because... What do you mean? I, complete, I do I do completely get where you're coming from, but if she's turned up to the gate, I don't know if it's just the way I'm understanding it, but she's turned up to a gate, gone, right. hey, can I use your car park for practicing riding my motorbike? And the guard's gone, yes, but you'll have to pay, pay $20. To my mind, yeah. that's equivalent to him going, yes, but here's a parking fee. Whether that's his intention or not, I don't know. It was, well, right. Get it cleared up. Area. Tell you what, get it all cleared up with her. Once you, once you have done, come back to me and I'll get it all laid out for you. Because I know, I know exactly where you're coming from with this, and I know exactly where the lines are and aren't for this. Sam, um, I'm gonna. Yeah, yeah. In the meantime, I'm gonna get in touch with uh, who's called 911, mate. Because that's another yeah, fact yeah, I need to clear up. Yeah, I'll hop back in RTO. Yeah, yeah.
Right, the gate security card is called 911. Fancom 144, request county medic start location. <coughs> Just a check over a pay, uh, suspect. Right, Charlie 1 to the unit that's handling the security guard. Send it. Right, Frost, Sancom are telling me that the security guard at the gate is the one that is handling, that, that called the 911 in. Um, can I just, could you just confirm for me, please, that this is the same security guard that has allowed access to the individual we've got stopped here, please? Because um, if so, we're going to need to make some sense of this soon. Hey, for my God, so, look, I got one sec. security, paid security to go get him right now. Yeah, Roger. Um, also, when you do, please, mate, um, at this point, I would need you to detain him under possible charges of accomplice to trespass and uh, possibly bribery charges as well, please, mate. All right, go on, Sam. Hey, firm, I'll get him so, detained in the vehicle when he comes down here. Right, then for thank you. So, what she said is she's uh -huh. been riding her bike around, she's come down here, obviously seen seen the signs and gone there to turn around, <laughs> and apparently the gate guard has deliberately called her over. He's spoken to her about it, her bike, and she's seen empty parking lot, and has gone, mm -hmm. hey, is there any chance I'll be able to use your parking lot to wear my bike? She's been called yeah. over by security guard, he's sat talking to her, and he's gone, yes, $20. <laughs> which was apparently to make sure that she doesn't cause right. any trouble anymore. Slow down. Basically... Slow down. So, security guard has initiated the conversation, yeah? Yes. They've had a conversation. She is... But she is then requested if she can use the parking lot, correct? Uh, or has the security guard invited that? From the way she's explained it, it sounds like he has... Uh, no, she has seen the empty parking lot and asked if she could ride right. around in there. Are you 100% about that? I I am not, which I will <laughs> but I want to go get Go ask her. Can Hang I on. Get to the my explanation? Okay, yeah, yeah, go on. Okay, so then what has happened is he's gone, yes, but you will need to pay $20, which mm -hmm. is supposedly as some kind of damage, sort of damage, <sighs> she doesn't cause any trouble, doesn't cause any damage, anything like that. Right. Is my understanding. I, mm -hmm. not, she hasn't said the word deposit deliberately, but it, that's my interpretation from the way she's explained it. It's so she doesn't okay. cause any trouble, that kind of thing. Yep. And then he has told her, if there's any alarms, then they're testing stuff, so then just, just leave. Yeah. So... Alright. I will double check with her whether she has asked him for access. Yeah. Or whether he's offered her access. Yeah, it's do that, difficult, mate. Difficult, it's difficult because I don't want to ask it as a leading question, so I've got to try and phrase it right. Well, have you Mirandized her? Uh. I... At, the, at this point, at this point, you need to Mirandize her if you haven't already, I mate. You did, didn't you? No, I haven't Mirandized her. She won't talk to me, mate. I'm not. As long as she doesn't do anything on towards, that's fine. Oh, I thought that's what you did when I was... I thought I heard you I... say it when I was over talking to Frost on the phone. No, mate. <clears throat> okay. Right, I will... I'll go Miranda Rosa and then just ask her to repeat her story one more time and ask her specifically who... Yeah, I'll come with you as witness. Yeah. Uh, this is getting ridiculous. It's time to wrap it up. <clears throat> some rights and then I'm gonna have to ask you to repeat that. So, mm -hmm. you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can or will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one may be appointed to you by the state of San Andreas. Do you understand? Yep. Okay. So can you just run through your story from start to finish one more time, then I'll ask you questions again. All right. 41, one, one. So. Go ahead Frost. <laughs> What is it you want me to find out about this guy? Okay, I need him to. I need you to verify if he was the caller um, to 911 or if it was a different security guard, please, because at this moment in time, we're getting a story off of the rider we've stopped stating that the security guard has um, permitted this uh, female access to the car park 
after she's given him 20 USD, please. Apologies, it's taking so long. I'm gonna just take a couple of minutes to speak to the director about how. Obviously, it's what is that place up there, anyways? Uh, honestly, I'm not entirely sure. It's a it's a high security facility, is all I know and am allowed to say. All right. So if you if you give me just a couple of minutes, hopefully we can get it resolved. Okay. <clears throat> right. So, as I'm sure you've heard, she's asked, or he's initiated the contact. She has then asked whether it would be possible for access to be allowed, <laughs> and he's told her yes, but it'll be twenty dollars, which she has taken to be a parking fee. Right. Okay. You ready for this? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so she's initiated the conversation. That's not. He, he's initiated. Okay, security guards initiate. Okay, so again, either or whoever's initiated, that's not a massive deal. Uh, she's the one that's asked the question if she can have access to the parking lot, correct? Uh, yes, I believe so. D were you listening to what she's just said or not? Yes. Yeah, but, well, are you sure? It's. Sam, come on. No, I'm unsure of your question. Are you asking right. whether she's asking if it's possible or whether she can? Okay. She asked if it would be possible. Okay, hang on. No, no, no. no. Ir irrespective of whether she can or whether it's possible, irrespective, she's asked the question of gaining access to the car park and it hasn't been the security guard that has said, do you want to use the car park? He hasn't offered, she has asked for access to the car park, correct? She has asked if it would be possible. Which, right, it's still, point, yeah. it's a question for access to the car park. Right. So, first things first, security guard should have said no, because of company policy. Um, on top of which, irrespective of whether she's asked or not, I know for a fact there is a sign around, around this bend, which basically states that this facility is a restricted facility. Whether she has said she sees that sign or not, we can't accept ignorance as an excuse. So therefore, the trespassing the trespassing charge is definite. The other the issue or the charge that comes into question is the bribery. Whether because if it's a case where she has said, Okay, I'll give you twenty USD if you let me in and he has accepted, then she she is on a bribery charge and he is at the accomplice. However, if he said if you give me 20 USD, I'll let you in. Then he is on the charge for bribery. She is the accomplice. So that's the I issue. If it's phrased in that way, but he has said yes, but it will be twenty dollars, as though it is yeah. a so, fee. Okay. So I'm not. I'm not no. happy enough. That right, we Sam. Charge her with accomplice for that. Sam. Yeah, Sam. It's not a charging fee. He shouldn't have given her access. No, I, I agree. I agree with that. Right. So he's got no, the bribery. I He's... agree with him getting bribery. I'm saying I don't, I don't agree with her getting accomplice because it's not... Just stand by two seconds, Frost. Because it doesn't appear as though there's any way she can... No. No, that's right. not a legitimate fee. No, she can because there is a massive sign that says it's a restricted facility outside there, Sam. Does it say restricted or does it say no unauthorized access? Because if he's opened the gate and said you can go in, that is authorizing her access. Yeah, I agree. That I'll need to check actually. That is a good point. Right, that, let me just see. Let me I'm just. Here, yeah. He's authorized her access. Right. For let. Reason in right. Her mind, okay. Let me. Let me check in with Frost real quick, and I'm gonna real quickly check that sign because you've raised a good point there. 481, go ahead. Be advised. Natalia Sanchez is going to be the second subject that 
got in without permission, which is why the call went out. That's received. Um, if you want to put her in for felony trespassing, then please, due to it being a restricted facility. Why is she just laying in the middle of the road? The advice is in the back of medic, county medic two, don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, that's new. Alright, give me a sec. I'll be right back. Is the security guard about or Hey Frost, is the security guard about at all or? Sorry? Is the security guard about at all? Is that him over there by the gate? No, the local security guard, as what I stated before, is ah. in the back of Briggs's uh, charger. Right, okay. No worries. Okay. So I'm back in channel. Hi, right, guys. Right. Hang on, are you guys security contractors for the place? Yes. Right, okay. Uh, either one of you, the ones that get, that granted access to the, uh, to the motorcycle rider? No. Okay, no worries. Right, real quickly, gents, because I understand that this is a restricted facility. Is this a case where the car park is restricted or is it no unauthorized access? Because the question is, is that... If the rider has been authorized access, then we've we can't really we can cut her loose. But if it's restricted access, then she's technically going for a trespassing charge here as well. Everything beyond these gates is restricted. Right. Okay. So even though she's been authorized access, it is still technically trespassing because obviously the car park is restricted access as well. Correct. It's restricted for security reasons. The okay. issue that we've had after, because I spoke with uh, one of the uh, Deputy Frost, Deputy mm -hmm. the, whatever his rank is, Frost. Yeah. Um, apparently, because I haven't reviewed the CCTV, and that's not my place. My place is to go find the person, hold them, wait for you to kill them, and go uh, here. Yeah. His stuff. Um, uh, what Frost said, apparently the bike has shown up and has given the gate guard money to gain access. Yeah. So, so <clears throat> what? It's... Sorry to cut across real quick, but yeah, so that's sort of what we're getting as well. The issue we've had is that the security guard has gained $20 off of the rider to have access to the car park. Um, apparently the security guard has said it'll cost you 20 USD. Which, you know, we're looking at a bribery charge separate to that. Yeah. Um, so at that point, we're, we're happy with the we're happy we're clear with the bribery charge, but it's just a case that essentially because the security guard has allowed her access, um, we needed to verify if it was the car park is authorized access or not, or if it is restricted uh, property or restricted facility or not. So because it's a restricted facility. That then lands the rider with a felony trespassing charge as well, which is definitely granted by the, um, is granted by obviously the guard that's let her in, obviously. Um, so yeah, that's that's more where I was going with that. I presume the courts will handle that. Yeah. Part of that point where he'll, the guard will probably get like absolutely yeeted out with the book and she'll probably will. Yeah, well, I mean, is that security guard, is he with Secure or Serve like yourselves, or is he with a different company? He's with Group 6. Group 6, okay. Okay. Stellar job would not <laughs> yeah, no, understandable. Okay, no worries. Thank you for your time, gents. Um, if you just obviously stick around in case my troopers or uh, any of my BCSO colleagues need any further information, but I think we've got this wrapped up now. Okay. Alright, thank you, gents. No problem. <laughs>
Charlie one one twenty one. Yeah, it's going to be uh, that ride is going to be locked up, felony trespassing charge due to the security guard allowing her access. The car park is a restricted facility, not unauthorized access. Say again, car park is restricted facility, not unauthorized access. <laughs> Frost, have you got things settled down here? Yeah. Yeah, right. Ten four, thank you. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that Humane Lab sign was a restrictive facility. So I've gotten that wrong at some point, which is interesting. But yeah. <laughs> Alright. Let's go give her the bad news. Alright, is it Catherine, is it? Is it Catherine, is it? Yeah. Okay. Turn around and put your hands behind your back for me, Catherine. Can I have a female officer? We don't have any on duty at this moment in time. If you want, my colleague over there can do it for you. I'm not fussed with it. Can I ask why I'm getting arrested? Uh, at this moment in time, you're being arrested for felony trespassing. Unfortunately, because the security guard has gained you access, he's gained you access to a restricted facility. Alright, um, it's gonna go to the judge. Just fucking do it. That's fine. Alright, at this time, you're under arrest for felony trespassing. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Um, if you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided to you by the state of San Andreas. Do you understand your rights? I already answered the other officer with that. I know. I, just for the record, though, because it's new circumstances, I need you to answer it again, please. Yep. Cool. Thank you. These rights in mind, are you happy to still talk to myself and my colleagues? Nope. You can talk to a lawyer. That's absolutely fine. All Everything right. is captured on, dash, on the camera on my bike, by the way. No, that's, so it that's the audio spot on. As well. Yeah, that's spot on. Um, Sam, yours or mine? Uh, your discretion. All right. I'm happy to transport. It's just your arrest. Yeah. Okay. If you're happy to transport, mate, I'll do the arrest report on it. Okay. All right. No worries. All right. Uh, Catherine, if you'd like to step into the Audi for me, please. Yeah. Catherine, you over to... Yeah, it's only No, it's not going to let me. Hang on. Alright, just step into the back for me, please. Yeah, it ain't doing it. Alright. Alright, I'm going to give you a hand it. There you go. Are right. you going to come down to Sandy and help book her because you're the arresting officer? Um, if you could book her for me, mate, so I'm going to be doing the uh, tow as well. I've also got to ascertain the details onto that other case because technically it's two separate incidents. We've got going on here. It's an absolute cluster, I'm afraid, mate. Okay. All right, mate. No worries. Thank you for this, Sam. Um, yeah, just... Uh, yeah, just tell custody sergeant it's going to be a felony trespass and given the circumstances of the arrest in regards to the trespassing at the Humane Labs, and that should be good. Yes, sir. All right, appreciate it, mate. In a bit. In a bit. <laughs> Bloody hell, this is a headache and a half. I'm going to be 1 10 15, I'm going to be wrecking Sandy, I think. All right, traffic's now clearing, which is good. <laughs> Charlie One, I'm going to be ten six Alpha at three zero five two Chiansky Passage for arrest paperwork. <laughs> Blood and sand. <laughs> that was a fucking nightmare. Uh.
Zero five two. Uh, Rusty is a Catherine Chavez. And she's technically on a curfew as well, but I'm not sure the nature of the curfew. Uh, that's over. Shoot into the money parents. <laughs> Can you check your emails when you get a second about saying something? Camp out there, sir. I got my park anywhere, lights on, it's fine. <laughs> Wrong colour. <laughs> Be wary, there's a murder kitty not too far behind you. Appreciate thank you. Keep my eyes open for it, but I don't see one. Intoxication, sober, location factors, um, prison or estate. So, technically, a state facility. Uh, it's not a state facility, though, it's privately owned, so. Uh, uh, that's a good one, actually. Uh, that should be other state below, but... Uh, we'll go with that. Uh, yes. Right. Suspect was arrested for the following charges of felony trespassing. So... In the circumstances regarding the arrest, the arrest is mainly surrounding, revolving around a security guard allowing the detained person, or the arrestee rather, the arrestee access to the car park. So Charlie 121, Senior Corporal M. Sam raised, oops, raised concerns as to whether the facility, whether the car park, rather, was a restricted facility or an unauthorised Access um, part of the premises. Upon directly talking to the Securo serve, oops, serve security guards to. Uh, Director Shield. Hey. What's up, Briggs? Four hundred and seventy. Hey, you arrested Catherine uh, Gervais? Yes, mate. What, what was the arrest for? Felony trespassing, mate. Why? I know. Sam just called me. The uh, states that the suspect is requesting a supervisor, but not the director. Yeah, basically, mate. Um, so. <clears throat> The circumstances around it, um, her and the security guard got talking. I believe the security guard initiated the conversation. 
the suspect, Catherine Gervais, has specifically asked if she can have access to the car park to basically ride the bike and train her, basically get better at riding the bike. The security guard has said yes, but it will cost you 20 US dollars, okay? So initially there was like trespassing and bribery. Now, because um, because I've verified it with the Securo serve, because Sam, Sam was the one that raised this. And he was like, well, is the car park, is it restricted access or is it unauthorized? Um, is it unauthorized access? If it, it um, if the car park was a restricted facility, then she is done for felony trespassing. If it is an unauthorized access, then all charges would be dropped because the security guard has, all, at, the, at the time being, wrongly authorized her access, but is still it's been authorized um in contravention to the company policy but all charges will be dropped on her behalf because she has because she has uh sorry because the car park is a restricted facility um even though the security guard has said yes you can go in against company policy she has still committed the offense of felony trespassing because she has trespassed on a high facility uh high security facility albeit aided by the security guard but even still she shouldn't have asked like she shouldn't have asked anyways because there are signposts up saying trespassers will be prosecuted and everything like that on the gates and stuff like that um but essentially yeah the felony trespassing would technically stand because she has trespassed even though she's been allowed to trespass by the security guard which she shouldn't have done so there you go mate I don't. I don't know what more she wants from that or anything like that. I know. I know she's not happy about the arrest. I'm not either because it's awkward circumstances. But she's committed the offence, even though, it, irrespective of whether he's let her or not, she has committed the offence. So. Okay. Yeah. I just wanted to get your side on it before I went in here and had yeah. a face with her. So no, that's fine. I have. Yeah. No. And just to verify as well, I did directly talk to the Securo serve. Uh, guards who took over the gate from the group six security guard who was on the gate obviously i understand the group six security guard was arrested by himself wasn't he yes he was uh b shift transported yeah um but so yeah group six security guard's been transported the um secure serve security have taken over the gate and they have directly said to me when i've asked when, when i verified to them you know, the question is whether the car park is restricted facility or whether it's an unauthorized access situation. They have directly told me it is a restricted facility. Everything beyond this gate is a restricted facility, at which point I'm like, yep, fine, fair enough, thank you very much. And that's that's been the end of that. So, yeah. So long story short, everyone goes and exactly. Yeah, exactly. Okay, all right. All right, mate. Thanks, man. No worries. All right, later. Later. And that is that. Suck it up and deal with it. Over the front gates. Have. <clears throat> okay, so have one specifically question or specifically asked rather whether the car park in question was a restricted facility or a unauthorized access area have oops, have said words to the effect of of everything beyond these gates the front gates is a restricted area. Therefore, even though the arrestee was given and authorized access to the site, wrongfully so, and against company policy see they have
committed the offence of felony trespass. This has been allowed by the security guard at the gate, understandably. However, Miss Gervais is still seen to be in contravention of the below fence. I'm just going to turn my engine off real quick because holy shit, I'm low on fuel. Press the at the time of arrival was seen bypassing the exit gates and making off from the area. From the area was then promptly pulled over a traffic stop initiated where she was ordered off the bike bike originally she was uh, non-compliant right. however then started to follow Lawful orders. Orders when challenged. Challenged. Right. Felony trespassing. Serving personal DPS 101 W shield. At record. Charlie 1, if I can have uh, 1 times county tow, 3052 Chansky passage for a black in colour motorcycle. Vehicle recovery. I report date. Today's date. That time. Chunk one. The fuck. The hell. Three zero five T. RS CG seventeen. in crime time company will be counting tie vehicle release to Sam Javoyas founding NA uh if that last point um arrest report uh, uh that then then signed off yeah wait hang on Yes. There it is. 
copy record link. Yeah. Hi. Observing personnel, DPS 101, W shield. Or status pending review. Add a record there. Eh? Now, times items, or she was arrested with the uh, vehicle items. None found apparently on the vehicle. Okay. Been on this situation long enough that has caused a, uh, yeah, caused me to lose all of my petrol by the looks of it. So, yeah, interesting. Right. This call is going to be closed. Have they call? There we go. Happy days. All right, let's go get some fuel because Lord knows I need it. I'm going to run out of fuel here if I'm not careful. Go ahead. Did we get confirmation that the owners of the main lamps wanted their press charges? Negative, why? That was one of the questions I was asked. Negative, uh, we didn't, but in this case, it wouldn't necessarily come down to them. No, hello, we're losing fuel. Hang on, Wait, that's full off of just that much. Apparently so. Okay, then. Hey, Mike. Right, real quick, in relation to the trespassing, um, technically speaking, it's going to be SecuroServe who have to verify if they want her trespassed or not. Now, going off of their company policy, I would imagine that they would. Um, and that's the case in this situation, because obviously they're employed by Humane Labs to keep light like, to control obviously who comes on site and who doesn't um <clears throat> i didn't technically get a verification off of them to be honest so there would be that in question but i'd imagine they probably would want to uh, press charges in this situation all right just just for her comfort i will make a phone call to secure serve and what the hell's wrong? You know, get that confirmation yeah that's fine <laughs> Also, in your eyes, do you have a, re is there signs around there that says restricted area or just um, authorized? Uh, there are um, on the, I I thought there were signs where there actually aren't, but when I actually talked to SecuroServe, I can see there are visual signs on the actual security box that says basically trespass, uh, trespassers. Trespassers will be prosecuted, and that obviously is a restricted area. So, yeah. Right, right. But does it say restricted area or does it say authorized entry? Um, I believe sure. it's restricted. But I will. I'll go. I'll go around now, actually, and check that, and I'll get back to you on it. But yeah. yeah. It, it, 
If you could, if it does say restrict, well, whatever it says, just send me a quick screenshot. Uh, yeah. Photo of it. Well, here's the thing, even though, I mean, technically speaking, SecuroServe have said that it's a restricted area anyways, but yeah, I suppose the signage would matter, but I mean, irrespective, because don't get me wrong, I know it's a scuffed situation, like, to be honest, if it was unauthorized, then I'll be happy to drop all charges, irrespective of how she is presenting, but SecuroServe, SecuroServe have verbally verified with me it's a restricted area so the group six security guard will have known that because of obviously the job that he is supposed to do at that gate and hasn't done it um so he has basically enabled her to commit the offense so she has committed the offense and he is obviously an accomplice to that but it's still a it, i get it it's a scuffed situation either way you look at it um so, going off of that, I would say that, technically speaking, the signage wouldn't matter. But, I mean, what would you say on that, in that regard? I think at this point it would come down to, honestly, the wording, or the, the, the wording of the signage. Because if it's authorized, if it says authorized this security guard authorized her to be on the property, but if it says restricted, I'm with right. you on that. Right, restricted so... You, you can't be on it, whether they say you can be or not. Yeah, right, so technically speaking, um, we verify that the car park was a restricted facility. So that was verbally confirmed, like the car park is a restricted facility. In regards to the signage, then... No, it, oh, like... Hold, mm. hold on a minute. Yeah, go ahead. Now the lady front desk is calling me up front. Alright, no worries. Alright, I'm just pulling up to the security gate now, so give me two seconds here. Yeah. Right, word for word, private property, no trespassing, violators will be prosecuted. Also, another one here that says notice, all drivers must check in before entering. So it hasn't specified whether it's restricted area or unauthorized, but it is private property. So, technically speaking, if it's private property, going off of residential property, obviously a postman would have implied consent to obviously go onto the property to deliver the mail if there isn't a letterbox out front, so to speak. So, yeah, technically we'd have to go off of that, but... Where in the hell is the front office of this goddamn place? Ah, found it. Alright, give me just a second, Will. Yep. I'll talk to Susan here. <laughs> This is a headache and a half, guys. Well, doesn't sound like the Humane Labs does, they don't want to do any sort of charges. <laughs> Again, technically it's Securo serves call, mate. Give me, give me one sec. Uh, yeah, but Humane Labs owns the property, not Securo Serve. <laughs> yes, but Securo Serve are the one. Override there. Would they though, if Securo Server contracted for that specific purpose? Oh, absolutely. Because it's the owner of property. Technically speaking, so that yes. Would be like, that would be like if I said, you know, you could go and drive my car. <laughs> Here we go with the car insurance someone again. Someone else can do it. Well, not really, just insurance. Just if you go and mm -hmm. someone else say it, and I say, wait, no, I don't want him driving my car. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. Yeah. Happy with that, then, mate. All right. If you're happy, I'm happy. Yeah. I'll let you terminate the call, mate. My vehicle controls are being shit. Okay. Later. Later, mate.
So after all that, and then charge is going to be dropped. Standard. Uh, be advised, it's been towed. Why? They've been released per uh, Roger, I'm just pulling in now, so stand by. Yeah, that's why. Oh my god, glitch city, here we go. Alright, give me a sec, I can't see anyone. There we go, right. What's the crack? Hey, where's my bag at? Uh, it's currently a DPS HQ La Mesa. Um, or it will be, anyways. Soon enough. Um, and also, we're going to need your mum to pick it up. Because she's the registered keeper on it, so you'll have to come down with her to pick your bike up. I'm afraid. Oh, I'm not going anywhere with her. She could pick it up herself and bring it to me. Why is that? Cause I'm not fucking seeing her. Why not? I left the house for a reason. I'm not living with her. Yikes! Ah, oh, damn. Okay. She's well, nice enough. It's just I can't deal with her. Fair enough. All right. Well. Yeah, have a good day. But yeah, no. If charges have been dropped, then you're good to cut away, Catherine. Hey, just out of curiosity, where'd you get the tattoos? What do you mean? Like, where'd you get them so I know where to get mine? Uh, that's a good question, actually. I can't remember where I got mine at. Didn't you tell me it was that tattoo place on Route 1? Uh, that what? There's a tattoo place on Route 1? No, I, I used to... It was up in Chumash. No, well, there might be one up in Chumash. I used the one in the city, but I can't remember for the life of me whether it was Rockford Hills or Finewood Hills. I'm almost out of service, damn it. Say again, Briggs. What are you asking about? Where we got the tattoos. Oh. I got my dude right back here, man. 481101. Fair enough. Oh, God, what is Frost one? Go ahead, Frost. Updated situation here with Natalia Sanchez. We she had a medical episode emergency inside our vehicle. We went straight to Sandy Med upon arrival to Sandy Med. She came around, darted off. We found her. The staff, one of the doctors here at Sandy Med, helped us uh, get her into a room after she locked herself in a closet and got further injured. Um. She is going to be probably kept here for a while, trending her injuries. Uh, do you want me to get DOC to collect her straight from here? Um, yes, 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 mate. I would, given the uh, extreme circumstances. Hey, firm, you want me to do the arrest report or do you got it? Uh, whoever's arrested her does the arrest report, please. Hey, Gee, yikes. Is this, like, the closest, like, really, really discount kind of run down Sorry, 10 9 Frost. Smokes. Her charge is trespassing, correct? Yes, yes, on top of whatever antics she's gotten up to in the hospital, mate. Ten Apologies, give me one sec. Okay, sorry, what were you saying? Where's like the nearest like kind of really run down discounted place to buy, you know, sodas, smokes, chips? Bearing in mind you are a miner trying to purchase cigarettes. Okay, chips and sodas. <sighs> I'm not gonna purchase any. I'm not purchasing any cigarettes. I just wanna run. I like supporting run down places. Uh huh. For legal reasons, I'm not going to answer that question. Jesus Christ, kids these oh, days. I texted my uncle, he's going to pick me up. Hey, Interesting. you smoke too if you live with my mother. Bro, I, would, I smoke enough dealing with you. What? I complied. No, you didn't. Not initially. Gonna take your silence there as a uh, answer in itself. No, sorry, there's something going on in my head. What'd you say? Okay. I was gonna say, you didn't initially. 
Well, you were yelling at me. I don't do well with people yelling. I automatically want to disobey when they yell at me and have their hand on their gun. Right, I'm so trying. there you go. You've just answered your own question. Yeah, but you didn't pull me over. He did. I am going to. I, yeah, I ordered him to. I'm going back out as well. All right, hopefully That's Rob gets there hey, soon. Hey, yeah. Not get injured, okay? We need you guys. Yeah, no, I don't plan on it. And don't don't trespass, because even if someone allows you access, does not Why always you mean you're allowed there. Yeah, well, irrespective, now you do. What was your name again? Will Shield, Director of Public well, I just Safety. Needed, I, just, I just needed your last name so I can say, Shield, have a wonderful day. I hope it's nice and quiet for you. Uh-huh. I'm sure you did. Right. I don't go. What your first name is. I just need to so dress you properly. Don't go trespassing across any places that you shouldn't be. All right. Mm -hmm. Don't take a rocket scientist to figure out Humane Labs is a restricted area. I didn't know what that place was. I'm not used to this area. Okay. Well, now you know. All right. I thought I was going to the beach. Mm-hmm. By the lighthouse. Uh, yeah. Wrong junction. Need to be one junction up. <laughs> Anyways, now you know, right? No harm and no foul. I'll see you out there, hopefully, in better circumstances next time, Catherine. Yeah, you can mm -hmm. call me Cat, by the way. Yep, yeah. alright. Take it easy, Cat. Have a nice quiet day. <laughs> uh huh. Fucking have a nice quiet day. Who the hell is that? Alright, so... Yeah. Gotcha, bitch! Alright, that'll do. Which other one? I've got a uh, motorcycle rider riding recklessly around the 3026 area. We're going to be westbound on Marina Drive, just next to Joshua Road. Okay. So the one that's going to be 1011, nearest postal 3033, um, at the Calafia Road Bridge on the Stab City side, on a red and coloured dirt bike, rider wearing a red and blue top over black trousers, white trainers, and appears to be wearing some sort of owl mask. No 32 is required at this time. Hello mate, can you do me a favour, turn the engine off please? Okay, sir, my name's Director Will Shield, San Andreas Department of Public Safety. Okay, just to let you know, this interaction is being audio and video recorded through body cam and equipment fitted to my vehicle. The reason for, your, for the stop is your manner of driving going through Sandy Shores and also in regards to your speed coming along uh, Joshua Road, okay? Not too worried about the speed, but I am a little bit concerned about your manner of driving, or riding in this case. You got a ID on you as well as any vehicle documents that are related to this vehicle, please. Yeah. Also, just uh, do me a favour, can you just take your mask off for the time being, please? Is that like a crash helmet or something? It is, yeah. Okay, no worries. If you can take that off for me, just so I can see your face, please. Awesome. Okay. Alright, Mr. Granger. And do you, have any, uh, do you have any registration or insurance for the vehicle at all? I do. Okay, no worries. Right, uh, if I can see those, please, mate. Yeah. Cool, thank you very much. Just sit tight me, I'll be back with you in a moment.
RS3456. Full comprehensive Blaine County cover. Registration approved. Of course, he's approved his own stuff. Okay, happy with that. Let's go for the name search. Whoops. So that is, yeah, and it's license. It's got a motorcycle endorsement. Happy days. Yep, yeah, that looks like our guy indeed. Our general citation. What's this for? Time threats, so we're going to be 10 7, 10 4, 2, have a good night. 10 4, have a good night. 4 3 1, 7, 8, 9, 4 3, 10 4, 2, have a good night. 10 4, have a good night. Alright. 431, Cadet C. Michaels disconnected from your channel. Alright. Sorry, one, it's not coming to show my 10 12 disbanded. Gonna be returning back to regular patrol with call sign 4 1. 7 4. Charlie 1. Okay, so it's going to be technically an Alhambra. Well, the stops happened at Calafia, so we'll go with Calafia Road. <clears throat> and postal 3033. It's going to be a citation. S three four five six one hundred and twenty one Corporal M Sam C one disconnected from your channel. Uh, where is the register keeping? Yes, any other occupants? No. Driving manner uh, careless, driver presenting good, driver intoxication, sober, location factors non <clears throat> yeah none of those really apply weather oops yeah clear roadworthy no damage it's a bit circumstances vehicle stopped on Colafia road after being witnessed after witnessing Riding carelessly through multiple areas of sandy shores. Can I try to appear at court? No. Vehicle speed was 68. In a 60 pace type radar. Court date not really required in this instance. Okay, well, you know what? <clears throat> we'll put a court date on him, but we'll say it's not required. He's not required to appear in court if he doesn't want to. Thirty. Oh, right. Uh, we'll be careless. Negligent rather. Negligent operation of a motor vehicle. It's going to be a hundred dollar fine for the speeding as well. Yep. Yeah. Oh, 
I'm going to put one dollar there. Okay, DPS. One on one. One on shield. <clears throat> All right, Mr. Granger, sorry to keep you. Right, so, um, at this point in time, it is going to be a citation primarily for negligent operation of a motor vehicle because of your manner of riding through sandy shores, okay? I have also, add, I have also added the um, speeding into it. However, um, in regards to that, it'll be up to the judge whether he wants to charge for that or not because it's literally, it's only eight miles an hour over and generally speaking, unless... Unless it's 10 over, they usually don't really, they aren't too fussed about it. You're sort of in that fine line of whether they want to chase you up for that or not, okay? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> just let you know as well, because of the offences, they are only, um, offense, like, road, like, traffic-related offences. Um, although you'll be reported, you do not need to appear at court. You can actually deal with these online, okay? Um, obviously, if you don't want to deal with them online, you will be required to attend court. Your current court date is going to be set at the 5th of September of this year at 11.30 a.m. Okay, did you understand? Sounds good. Okay, happy days. If I could just get you to sign on the dotted line here for me. Happy days. All right, if you take this, this is going to be your copy. Um, just obviously explains everything that we've gone through here today and obviously the uh, procedures for what you need to do moving forward, okay? All right, appreciate your time, Mr. Granger. Um, here's all your documents back as well. Um, if you have any questions for me, by all means, far away. Otherwise, uh, you are free to go. I have no questions. All right, no worries. Just uh, obviously put your helmet back off, obviously, and uh, yeah, just... Uh, Take caution when you move off and just take over the pedestrians around us, but you are free to go. You don't need to wait for me or anything. Thank you. No worries. Take it easy. You too. Okay. There we go. Chill, I'm going to be code for 10 8 citation issued. Oh, hello. Oh, look at Stevens. Oh my god, what are you doing? What? I, did. Oh. I dead ass thought he was going over the guardrail then. How do you strange it? Because that's not a strange thing to read. Hold on. God, holy crap. For target found. Your attention. Yeah. Can you see the ugly blue car? Uh, well, yes, in a space it technically shouldn't be parked in. I'm only here to get one bit of information. I'm leaving again. Alright, well, oh. be quick, please, because, yeah. I know. <laughs> I know. Alright, was this. Yeah, what are happened you, about this uh, you barricaded person? Or not? No, the damage done isn't that much. Okay, good. That's all I really needed to know. <laughs> um, she ah. woke up, came around out of her medical episode that she had in the back of my Tahoe. Okay. And ran in here, barged through some nurses, knocked over a stretcher and whatever else, ran in here, <laughs> ran in. Ended up in the garage. She showed, Dr. Silk showed up, assisted with us getting her out of the garage. She then ran into a storage room and locked herself in the storage room. Oh, uh, 
Okay. Nice. And the silk had keys. We opened it from the outside. Next second we heard a metal bang. Door was able to open. She told me to kick it in, so I kicked it in. <laughs> Bonus. Yeah, we found her underneath the cap, stuck underneath the cabinet. And <laughs> of now course. we're running tests, and they'll advise DOC when they can come get her. Yeah. What's, what's the charges at the minute, or so? Are oh, they none? Trespassing. <laughs> yeah, of <laughs> course. Just, just, just the original <sighs> charge. Just the original charge. Of course. Charge. Yeah. So, that's it. Yeah. Make up my, my, my... <laughs> Why don't you make up your words <laughs> first? <laughs> I think I need to go have my own MRI, Jesus Christ. Sounds Seriously. like it. Um, I like you can't make up your mind on what title you're going to give me. You call me doctor and then you call me miss. Uh, look, you know what, I'm trying to be nice, so you know what, there you go. Just call me it, I don't care. Th okay, that won't be happening. I guess I'm going to do worse by other people. I'm well aware. Alright. Coming early on. Okay, a, right. Um, I'm gonna move it. Bye. <laughs> Alright, Frost. Aww. Yeah, we got work to do, I'm afraid, Silk. No Keep up the good work, guys. I'll go to bed. <laughs> yeah. I'm in the storage room. Alright. We are getting a burger. There we go. <laughs> Going to burger shot again is held rough as shit.
I shall be right back, guys. Where was I? Alright, where were we guys? Stevens. I don't think Stevens noticed me actually though. <coughs> <laughs> sure if he did or didn't. Maybe just because I'm in an unmarked car he thought better of it, which to be fair, fair enough. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ooh, excuse me guys. Just check my status on can as well. Yeah, I'm not on a call, so. Barry Stevens, come on, Stevens, you can do better. He's not on. Yeah, there we go. Sam's not on. Yeah. No whisper target found. Hey, mate, are you still on duty? I'm not seeing you on cat. No way! Oh, I know why. Hold on. <sighs> oh, there you go. Boom. Just like that. But you have your I call sign approved. set to fire still. Did you still have your call sign set know. to fire? No, I'm asking, did you? Is that why? Or... No, 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 no. I was over in Civ side approving some stuff for um, Wolf. Oh, okay. No worries. Oh, in regards to that, uh, do they have a photo set up on some of the stuff you were approving? Uh, this was, um... What the hell was it? It was for Kylie Wolf, <coughs> her police officer, so yeah. Oh, okay. Perfect. Alright, mate, no worries. I was going to say, because 
Yeah, some of the stuff, they don't have a photo on. If they don't have a photo on it, don't approve it, please, mate, because there does technically need to be photographic evidence, obviously, to the documents yeah, she's... supporting it. Yeah, she's got a photo. Yeah. Perfect. She's got an photo. Say that again, sorry. A registered firearms, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, RFO is registered firearms owner, mate. Alright, no worries, dude. How's things on your side? <laughs> you really want me to tell you that? Yeah, go on. Buy it. God damn it. You, hey, I, I hope it. You want to tell you. <laughs> I hope it stays that way now. <clears throat> God damn it. Alright, I'm gonna. Just, just by what I'm seeing as sibs. Yeah. Oh, God. That is. He's just gotta get in the right mind. Give him a few minutes, a little bit. <laughs> you reckon? Oh, I'm sure. Alright. Alright, mate. I'll leave you to it. Alright, bye. In a bit, mate. Bye. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, hi, Backford. Howdy. <sighs> Bloody hell. Uh, just one sec. If I could get some of these as well, please. And oh, in fact, I'll grab the uh, fat chip sticky rib flavor as well, please. I'll just do um, I'll just do card, please. I'll do contactless. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Here's the. Where's that? You can just hang it there. There you go. Thank you. Yes, please. Yeah. Nothing wrong with a bit of passive roleplay every now and then. Guys, <laughs> to pick up a bag, fair enough. Yeah. Oh, god damn it! I think we just had a ride go by. Awesome. Thank you. All right, you have a good one. You have a nice quiet shift. <laughs> Thank you. Uh... Of course she'd say that. Fuck sakes, Wolf. Yeah, 
Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure I put my window up. So far, have a good night, Frost. Four hundred and eighty-one SGTS Frost disconnected from your channel. Uh oh. Oh no. New dispatch. 5011, Great Ocean HWY, 5011. 1.9 can be in route to the left. Charlie 1, same traffic. Why that's a three wall one? That would be a normal one because it's an active crime. We gotta get there to prevent loss of property. Charlie wants units responding to this call. I appreciate it's coming as a 311, but if we can upgrade response, please, as there is an active crime in, pro in progress. Sam Tyler's already getting cut free, Yeah, Roger. Just uh, obviously also for units to be aware if we can reduce when we uh, get in the area, please. Ten Tell them almost like I'm going to be the first responding to this. I'm going to be uh, pulling into the gas station, code one, uh, incognito in an unmarked vehicle. <laughs> I've got no sighting um, in the gas station. Actually, it might be on GOH, that's where the report initially has come from. I'm going to be static at Marmarca Sierra. I've got a vehicle parked on the hard shoulder of the southbound lanes. Uh, I'm going to hold off approaching it just for the time being until I get further units in the area. One point nine is already in the area. Roger Stevens, whereabouts are you? 
Uh, right behind the blue vehicle. In the medium. That's received, mate. Um, if you want to set up a stop at your own, uh, in your own convenience, I'm going to set up spikes just in case this vehicle does attempt to make off, mate. Hey, Good copy, Rex. If Stevens does end up needing assistance, if I can have you to directly back him up, Briggs, just in case. If you want to turn us into a motorist assist, you can. I see if fluid coming out of the vehicle, I've got firing route to stop that, okay? For brake fluid? Uh, it seems like it's leaking out the, like, on the it's floor and stuff. Still a hazard on the highway, Laura. That's true. So. When he had the entirety, almost, of DPS here. Shit, right? The only one you're missing is Sam. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like you should probably call your brother. Get the tow truck. Buy a Mopar. Do you want me to at least tow you to the Route 68 gas station? Uh, no, I'll just go tow. Alright, mate, no worries. I was just more a case of getting you off of the side of the highway to a more secluded location. I'm used to 
should be the gang territory. <laughs> yeah. Looks like fire's arriving. Ah, yep. Coming from the tunnel. By the looks yep. of it. Yeah, I just dropped off a fresh case of uh, coffee. And I was going home. Coming through the tunnel and the brake pedal got a little soft and then it went to the floor. Oh, that's not good. And, uh, <laughs> over as soon as it went to the floor. Mm. Yikes. Okay. Yeah. Right, mate, I'm gonna cut away here, but yeah, hopefully you get your vehicle sorted soon, Jay. It'll be up and running uh, in no time. Yeah, hopefully, mate. Alright, be safe. You too, mate. I don't want to have to come on duty today. Yeah, no, right? <laughs> Alright, dude. Day off I had in a while. Uh -huh. Hey, be careful, it's slippery. Yeah, i seen that. Hey, Barry, don't slip over on that brake fluid, it's bad for your health. Uh, I'll try not to. Good luck. Charlie 1, I'll be code 4 tonight off that call. Yeah, okay, that's the point I need to clear off a cat actually. Certainly that's not the call in, in question, so we can close that down. to be fair. <sighs> Alright, what time are we on? Almost two in the morning, guys, so yeah, I think we'll call it there. We've got, yeah, almost three and a half hours worth of footage, so obviously we want to do the editing to that. We'll see how much we got left out there, but Cat definitely gave, gave us uh, some good footage towards uh, that Humane Labs scene, so I know that will take a fair chunk of this video, but yeah. Also, I need to change the plate because that should be an SA exempt plate. So we'll do that once we get back to Sandy SO. Bloody hell, mate. We'll just park out the front of Sandy SO just due to Glitch Nation happening in the rear car park at the minute. I will fix that at some point. I believe it's a collision issue. I might do some dispatching next patrol, guys, where it's just going to be, well, CAD. But, uh, yeah. know what to uh, update you guys but there's not really much to update guys um <clears throat> i'm sure there will be once i review the video before this one um in regards to obviously me mentioning preferring to record rather than stream now um it's taking a little while to push out content well it won't once the videos start rolling because then they'll start rolling then i'll have got a surplus of them 
but it's more just because obviously just some streaming just depends on obviously how you feel at the time sometimes whereas recording depending on how you feel you can obviously edit the bits out where you feel like crap as such or whatever or there's not really any pressure to do so so yeah i'm not going to repeat or go at least i don't want to sound like a broken record into obviously what i've done in regards to uh last uh, last video in regards to why i prefer recording over streaming but yeah long story short it's more the preference of uh being able to provide you guys with some solid consistent content um which is aimed towards obviously what the viewers want to see which is 5m content and not necessarily towards 5m content where we're just sat about on our laurels for lack of a better term uh doing sod all basically um, but no, to be honest, even in this patrol, we've got some good, good stuff going. We've got that, uh, obviously the humane lab scene where the, obviously the instant where, uh, you know, <clears throat> cats realized, oh, actually shit. Yeah. Technically the charge would go ahead. So she's obviously called Stevens to drop the charge, which yeah, is fair enough. Um, obviously it's making us as law enforcement do our job because even though this in the circumstance those circumstances yes the judge would absolutely just throw out the charge of trespassing because the security guard has enabled it by breaking company policy even though and even though you know we would be be aware of that we've still got to enforce the fact that the trespass has occurred um so you know that that's what i think you know that's that's what the massive mix-up was um and then obviously i mean from the get-go actually since when i got in even though i was again slightly late to patrol just straight away three calls back to back to back um and then <clears throat> we've got uh yeah the traffic stop on stevens's character on mr granger bit of proactivity going on there and then yeah motorist assist we've had a you know for a fairly quiet patrol actually we've had a really good turnout of calls and a nice variety so yeah no i'm i'm dead set impressed with everyone actually um you know yes we are a small community but we're doing really well for the variety of calls and the type of calls i think I, i'm really i'm really chuffed to bits with everyone actually so yeah i've got a nice bit of nice nice little you know i would say solid foundation of pride on Bravo, my members. Charlie One, I'll be uh, joining you on that one. Show Charlie One 742 for the night. Yeah! yeah.